greatest thing I can remember when I think back. I'm laying in a meadow. I feel the wind. I see it in the trees above me. When I look up there, it's peaceful. You know, you, you spend your whole life searching for that moment. There's something about that that's joyful. There, there's comfort in, in the search. You know, and I think that's, that's what drives me. People always... <laughs> always ask me, what makes you do it? What's the purpose? Why would you even try? And it's always the same question. It's always the same answer. Why not? I was introduced to this life um, 15, 15 years ago, and ever since, it's been a journey of discovery and of growth. What do I climb? Um, I like to concentrate on wigwas, or aspen, and uh, shingwak, or pine. They're my two main studies uh, as of right now. I have the most experience with them. Um, you know, a lot of other types, there's a lot of branch rot and uh, a lot of sap grime and it really just, it changes the way you climb and I prefer the cleaner, uh, more classical uh, study of, of these trees and, and the way the techniques I use and the way in which I climb them are, are naturally taught, uh, naturally employed. You know, sometimes I, I'm so quiet, I'm so a part of them that I almost feel as, as one of them. It's extraordinary. Last year at Worlds, we really saw a uplifting of artistry and excitement to a level that I, I think was unprecedented. And there was a really a lot of progression as far as technique and even scoring went. For instance, on this wigwas here, this aspen, uh, as you can see, uh, it has a lot of bark rot uh, leading to dead limbs, but there's a combination of life and death in it. And competitors chose trees leaning more towards this direction to almost bring in a life and death of the climb. Uh, the techniques changed throughout it, and uh, we'll, we'll just, let's see what happens. any straight lines in nature and I, I employ that in, in every climb I make. Every attempt and every success is a freedom of technique and of life. I'm Chad Nesbitt, and this is competitive tree climbing! Often when I'm up there, when I'm lucky, 
wa wa uskai he will walk below me, deer, and it's those moments that really teach you. Uh, so this is a perfect example. Not many people know when you have deadfall like this, oftentimes it's strong enough to just go right up it. So let's see, see what happens. You know, you just gotta be gentle and yet, oh, woo -hoo, firm with them. You just gotta let them know. And look, you're above it, you're beyond it, and you're in it. It truly is an exceptional experience. So this is another example of a deadfall climb. Um, Oftentimes these are misunderstood and seen as dangerous, but I mean the wood is really strong. Wigwas, uh, aspen are often a lot better than other trees. So let's see what happens. You know, it's just about balance and a trust, not only in yourself, but in the tree as well. And it's just a combination of factors that really lead to a good successful climb and you know that's what it's about that's what it's about so this is one of the trickiest parts here is transferring to the live tree you got to be careful about energy here and about movement That's a successful climb. Woo! Ow, ow! So, this is uh, an exit that, you know, kind of got developed in Europe. Um, it's called the thigh hug and you really get your thighs in there and help grip the wood. And then you just use that to get down and that's a successful climb, my friends. That's a successful climb. I think a lot of people are disconnected. I think a lot of people haven't really felt what I feel. You know, the Native Americans have a word for this. They call it matigwaki. It's the woods. And every time I'm out here, every time I, I get to come out here, I think it answers a lot of questions. It answers a lot of worries. People are disconnected. I mean, don't you get some sort of feeling when you're amongst all these, this new growth? And, you know, you already have well defined Y's and even some X's, some T's, even the fabled triple T. You can see this young, and it's, it's really, it's really exciting to know that in the next few years, some of this new growth, some of this new growth is gonna be fully grown and ready for climbing. And it's, it really is incredible. I, I, I find it hard sometimes to contain myself around this. And, you know, this is the part of nature that's beautiful. You have the dead, the old, mixed with the new and the young, and the healthy. It really is incredible. I don't know any other way to do it. Natiguaki is where I belong and it's where I'll stay. I wouldn't have it any other way.
When they asked Sir Edmund Hillary after he climbed Everest, why? Why would you climb it? He took a second, swallowed, breathed, and then he said, because it's there. <laughs> because it's there.